come up hither, and I will show thee things. These words from Revelation for to one invite us to ascend into a higher plane of understanding, where divine truths are revealed to those ready to receive them. An elevated mood, a state of spiritual clarity and peace, can only spring from an elevated habit of personal character. If we consistently strive to live up to the highest moral and spiritual standards we know, God will continually beckon us with a gentle but firm command. Friend, go up higher. This call to ascend is not merely about achieving a heightened state of spiritual awareness, but also about practical, daily growth. The golden rule in the face of temptation is to rise above it go higher. When we elevate our perspective, we begin to see life's challenges and temptations from a new vantage point, where their power to sway us diminishes. It's essential to recognize that both God and Satan use the strategy of elevation, but with vastly different outcomes. When Satan tempts us by placing us in a seemingly elevated position, he distorts our understanding of holiness, making it something unattainable, a burdensome performance that strains the soul. This false elevation is a precarious balancing act, leaving us teetering on the edge, afraid to move for fear of falling. In this state, holiness becomes a rigid, joyless endeavor, a spiritual acrobatics where we are trapped by our own inflated ideals. But when God elevates us, it is by His grace and with a different purpose. Instead of placing us on a narrow pinnacle, He sets us in spacious heavenly places where movement is free and natural where the soul can stretch and grow. In this elevated state, holiness becomes a broad tableland of possibility, where the spirit finds rest and freedom to explore the vastness of God's grace. Reflect on your spiritual journey, comparing this week to the same week last year. Has God called you higher? Have you seen from a new, loftier perspective? Growth in grace is not merely about avoiding backsliding. It's about gaining a deeper understanding of your spiritual position. It's hearing God's call to ascend not necessarily a call to your person, but to the core of your character. Consider how God spoke to Abraham, saying, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? God reveals his truths to us only when we have developed the character to receive them. He withholds until we are spiritually prepared, but when we are ready, he invites us to come up higher, to step into a broader understanding and a deeper relationship with him. Let every truth God reveals to you be a light you instantly follow. Live up to every insight He grants, for it is in this faithful response that true spiritual growth is measured. Not by stagnation or avoidance of decline, but by your readiness to ascend to every new height He calls you to. Like and subscribe if you love God,